A little anxiousness over the latest spike in COVID-19 cases is not a bad thing, said Health Minister Ong Yi Kang, pointing out how it would make people take extra precautions. Noting that 60% of the population is up to date with their vaccinations, he added that he is reasonably optimistic that people have good immunity. But he warned that the next COVID-19 wave could have more impact if people do not keep up with their jabs. Singapore's latest COVID-19 wave is due to a number of factors, including waning population immunity and increased travel and community interactions during the year-end festive season. In the week ended deck second, 32,035 people were diagnosed with COVID-19, the highest recorded in 2023. The previous high was 28,410 infections a week in March. Mr. Ong responded to questions on the spike in COVID-19 infections during a media doorstop at the launch of a framework to stem healthcare worker abuse. He said the healthcare impact of the latest spike in numbers is low, with fewer than 10 cases in the intensive care unit. There were 560 hospitalized COVID-19 cases on December 13. A fraction of the 1,726 at the peak of the pandemic. For now, it is still hard to tell if Singapore has hit the peak of the current wave. Currently, there are about 5,000 COVID-19 cases daily. And while those numbers could go up, it is not something the country has not experienced before. All in all, we can withstand this. We have gone through over three years of pandemic. With all kinds of safe management measures. Finally, earlier this year, we transited to Doscon Green. Going back is the last thing on our mind, said Mr. Ong. Under the Disease Outbreak Response System Condition Doscon, set up in 2005, Green indicates that a disease is mild and poses minimal disruption to daily life. Mr. Ong urged everyone to play their part by observing good hygiene and avoiding contact with people, especially the elderly, if they are sick. There are people who say they don't have the antigen rapid test kits for COVID-19, but actually we are not just worried about COVID-19. There are other viruses going around like adenoviruses, respiratory syncytial virus, influenza, mycoplasma, pneumonia and so on. So as long as you're sick, don't come into contact and wear a mask when you go out. He said. He emphasized that Singaporeans need to continue to take their vaccines, especially if they are seniors above 60 or have chronic illnesses. Mr. Ong is optimistic about Singapore's situation today because 60% of the population are up to date with their vaccinations. This means a minimum protection of either three doses of an mRNA or the Novavax vaccine, or four doses of the Sinovac vaccine, plus an additional booster jab a year after their last dose. But if we do not continue to vaccinate, and we wait till next year, Instead of 60%, we have only 20% that's recently vaccinated. When another wave hits at that point in time, the impact will be greater, especially on the seniors, he said.